Hey, how's it going, my fine sirs? My name is Sir Earl Grey, and welcome back to Rhyme. And we have our friend Jean-Claude there. Or is it Jean Dam or is it Chuck? I don't know. I like Jean-Claude. I think I'll stick with that as a name. But we've got a freaking army of them. Last episode was so cool. We just resuscitated them and then we led them. And now we're going in to the final dark domain, which will probably be the end of the game, which I'm really sad because this has been an amazing adventure, one that I've really, really enjoyed. So without further ado, let's go straight back in into the final chapter of Rhyme. All right, so here we are once again. Oh, man, I would not like to go down here by myself. Lucky I have have my giant friends to, to make me feel a bit safer, but this feels like the pool, you know, in front of the mines of Moria, Lord of the Rings. A really nasty tentacle monster will come up and eat me. And what vision shall we see this time? Are we going to be on the boat again? That seems to be the common theme. Yes, boat. Ask for a miracle. I did. That's right. We were right in front of the hooded figure. Hello? Are you sabotaging my ship? I'm doing something. And I don't. Oh, God. He's getting us fucked up. He fell overboard. How are you so black? Like... Oh shit, he died! Is that why I keep seeing him? Is it like... I've gone mad? Like, I've... I've cabin fever and this is it? Tell you what though, the heat wave's over, but it's still fucking boiling in here. Oh... Oh, Jean-Claude saved me! No, 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 what am I saying? No, this is... The new area. Oh, I thought these guys had fished me out of the water after my I was shipwrecked, but no. Oh, cool. I'm riding one of them, sirs. Onwards, my mechanical noble steed. Yep, this is my stop. Can you thank you very much? Cool. Alright, where am I going now? I I look afraid. I look really worried. Can I stick with my big brothers? <laughs> They'll protect me. I just need an orb and I can banish anything. Whoa, that is a big... So, I'm following the fox through the, 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 the dark things into the circle? What? It's very abstract. Uh, it's, I don't get it. And it is absolutely throwing it down. You'd think you'd be in England at any time of the year except last week. Oh, it's a crying god. And Fennec! Bro, I haven't seen you in freaking ages! Oh, it's so sad! Ooh! Cut! Oh! Ooh, that was close! Oh, they... They let me go! I don't understand these Dementor-like things, because sometimes they're really vicious when their faces aren't circles. They attack you, but... Every other, every other time they either fuck off or disappear. Anyway, Fennec, let's go. Like, there's too many unanswered questions here. I can't, I can't get stuck on the small stuff. I've got giant freaking robots I have to somehow accompany. Oh, the music's kicking up. Oh, they're keyholes. Oh, that's bright. Oh, they die as well. No, Jean-Claude. God damn it, he sacrificed himself for me. That's what, is there nine doors? Because there's nine robots? Christ, that's a lot. The hell's down here? Oblivion, of course. Oh. Oh, thank you very much. That's actually very considerate. And you're Jean-Claude. Okay, you're the one that doesn't have any moss or dirt on you. Nice. Thank you, mate. I know I fathered you and everything, but good. You're doing good on me. By me, I mean. Yes, English. And the music has just, has become so sad. Like, the the OST. I'm still listening to the OST. Like, God knows how many weeks I've been playing this game. Because it is gorgeous. Like, you can listen to it at any time. I love listening to it when I'm driving, actually. When I'm driving to work and I want to... I've had a really frustrating day. I can just sit down and listen to it. It's so nice. It's so solemn, so, like, solemn sometimes. Like, others just... Pure awe. 
Just like that. Melon. Oh, you the last one. Jean-Claude, you are. Oh, no. You're going to have to sacrifice yourself for me. Man, I'm losing all my allies. God damn it. Oh. He must go. It, it is it is his duty. God damn it. Oh, you and Fennec look sad. It's like you must continue on your journey. Oh. God damn it. This better be worth it. Jean-Claude, Van Damme, Chuck, they all gave their, they, they all gave, they, they, they all gave their lives for this. Oh, but what in the world? It, this place is huge. So pretty. And broken. Oh, the, fuck me. That was close. Oh, th like, this game really tickles your sense of, like, exploration. Oh, and all the shades. Oh, that's me. It's like at the beginning with Fennec, like the the, the, the four statues. Four statues that I had to activate who were green, but when I activated them all, they turned dark like this, and then the fox appeared. And all the shades look really sad. Oh. They're not... They're not threatening anymore at all. Oh. It's, it's exactly... It's exactly like how it was, just the reverse. Oh, this is... Am I gonna seal myself, sirs? Am I something... Oh, fuck. I'm alive! Christ, not for long, though. Am I gonna seal my... I... Like, there's no point guessing, Gray. You're gonna see. Oh, and there's another keyhole. What does this show us? Oh, so when our mother died, we left. We left the king. Maybe we were on our way home. This place is... This is literally a city. Or like a necropolis. So obviously no one has lived here for a very long time. Only the shadows of the past. How freaking poetic. Oh, we have no voice anymore. We just do a little whimper. Oh, man. The death of Jean-Claude really did hit us hard. Oh, Fennec, why don't you do something about this man? I've done your bidding for the past five episodes, four episodes. Come on, give something back, please. And we finally made it. Crikey, that was one hell of a climb. Okay, where the hell do I even go now? There's quite a lot of them. There's one, another one over there. I've just done that one. I guess there's only one more at each cardinal point then. I have to admit, sirs, just... Uh, I'm usually not a big fan of platformers in general, because I just suck at them. But when they're th this peaceful, it really does make a difference. It actually makes... It it's nice to just chill out. Like, like stuff like that, where I failed and I have to do the whole thing again. It's not that bad because you just enjoy being here. And it's just so chill with the rain and the the pitter patter of the water. The exploding walls. You know, the, the usual relaxing stuff. And here we are. Is this the last one? I don't know, sirs. I have as many as questions as you do, but I just don't have the answers. Oh no! Fuck! You had to shout at them! <gasps> no, I'm gonna do it all again. God fucking damn it. I'm such a tool. And there you go, sirs. All of them have been activated. So what have I summoned now? So it seems like I'm not sealing myself, at least. Oh, I'm sealing Fennec. Oh, man. God damn it, why are all my friends dying? Fuck 
fuck's sake. Oh, Christ. Feels like I'm summoning something a lot more evil, though. Whoa. I became stone. Oh, oh, I can move. Whoa. Oh, am I becoming a shade? I'm completely black. Oh, I'm like the limbo kid, but more importantly, I'm like the, the guy who fell off the boat. Oh, I'm like a zombie. No, Fennec, why would you do this to me? What is going on? Why did I have to do that to enter this place? Am I the king of these things? Oh, so many unanswered questions. Oh, look at the size of those chains. Oh. Okay, light is good. Light is usually good. What did that do, though? Am I light sensitive now because I'm a being of darkness, or am I cool with that? Like, when I'm in the shadow, I literally, it's just my cloak. And then it's like, like when I'm in the light, in the stark contrast. Look at that! I'm headless! I'm nearly invisible! And here's the second chain destroyer thing. Okay. Oh, is there three chains? And it reveals another passage. Right. I guess there are three chains then. Oh! The fuck was that, dude? Just don't roll into the abyss. Oh, and we cross the chain like the badass we are. This is the last one. What? It, this looks like a lighthouse more than anything. I'm the complete opposite of what I just was. This is stunning. Oh, this is incredible. Right, I guess this is it. And we open something. Whoa. Woohoo! I submerged the sun! And the pool just. I'm at the top of the tower! Oh, cool! There we go! But what does this mean now? I thought the answers were at the top of the tower, but... There's nothing that... <sighs> Where do I even start? Is it gonna be the work? Everything's flipped on its head! I am so confused. Up. Uh, the whirlpool of death up there? I think it. What the f. So I was standing on the whirlpool of. My mind is so blown! So, so blown right now. Whoa. Christ. Okay. I don't know what the state that I am in now. Well, I don't know how that helps me or anything, but hopefully the figure with the red cloak, who seems to be still alive despite what happened at sea, he'll have some answers. Come on, give me something good. Please don't be like the end of Outlast 2. For Christ's sake, I need more answers than this. This is the only word that's been spoken so far. So the the, vi the 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 vision we saw at the beginning. Oh shit! Was us losing our son? Oh no! So am I dead? Is this like the barrier? Like, is this like between heaven and like earth? Oh, 
What's happening? Arthur, you okay, mate? Like, you've been through some rough times. Is this my home? I'm so luminescent. Go. Oh. Oh, so the the stat like the statues of the guy sitting down, he was transitioning. He always looked like a king because he was my father, and the last one we saw was of him crying. Oh, Daddy O. Whoa. Don't tell me that's what happened to my dad. Do I do I have to It's like it's like a nor there's a TV. This this is the real world. And we're in some uh, like in his house. And I guess this is my son's room. Oh no. Oh, with the fox. That's why we were collecting toys through the whole thing. God damn it, man. I wasn't expecting these sort of feels. This is way too much. And I guess this is where the, all the collectibles would... Whoa. This is, I guess, where all the collectibles would be if I actually found them. That's the only one I found. Oh, man. God, do I have to let it go? Like, just that frame right there. Oh, that was so good! Oh man, that was amazing. Oh, this is such a good piece of music. I'm just, I'm just gonna... Oh, I need, I need time to collect my thoughts and emotions. Oh, David Garcia Diaz, bless your soul for this masterpiece of a soundtrack. And everyone else, like Tequila Works. Oh, this was good. This was really, really, I really enjoyed this game. It's probably one of my favorite games I've played on the channel. Like, I know it's not the usual game that I play on the channel. Like, recently, I, I've transitioned to more upbeat, short episodes. Um, and, well, that's why Bloodborne did so well, because it was such a good combination between what I did before, which was, like, sometimes hour-long episodes, and so I had the story and the continuity, but then it was action enough. Uh, I had enough action, I mean. But here, it was, it was very different. The episodes were longer, and it was more chilled and relaxed, and it just fit so well. Oh, man, it was dedicated to someone as well. Like, oh, it was just amazing. So, where do I even start? 
I'm gonna get the OST and, and, the, and the graphics and the style of the game out of the way first. I've gone on and on about enough. They were absolutely superb. The great thing is, is that I got like little speckles of, um, of story throughout through the collectibles. And I was really, really worried, like Outlast, that if you didn't get all the collectibles, you wouldn't understand the story or the story would be too abstract. And I'm really, really happy that they had that last, like, or the last 15 minutes of this episode where they really told you what happened. Um, and that I thought was so good because it was like this magical land and it was obviously seen through the, like, the eyes of a child. And I guess his journey through the island and up the tower and, you know, avoiding demons, solving puzzles was like the 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 the, the way of transitioning from death to to whatever's afterwards to the afterlife and for his father to let go oh so good like granted some of the con controls were a bit finicky and i know that this game runs like ass on pc because i actually bought it on pc originally but my computer just couldn't handle it um, there were a few frame rate drops here and there in, in, in the PS4 version, but it just, I think it works really, really well as well when you have it on the big screen in front of you. And even though the colors might not be as good, like on a, on a normal tent, like on a normal TV, it's, it, it's so, it felt so immersive. And all the different areas worked so, they were all different, like the rainy area, the forest area, the desert area. And I have to say, like, like, the rainy area and the island in the beginning were, were really close contenders to be my favourite area, but hands down, the area at the beginning was just so good because it, it it felt really real, like really like you'd something like you'd find in the Mediterranean, and it was just so peaceful, so homely, something like where Robertson Crusoe would land and you know set up a life and. Oh, well, anyway, sirs, I, I hope you sirs enjoyed the series as much as I did. Like, I know the episodes haven't been as popular as some others, but I ho really hope that my passion for the game and for my love of it has shone through. And I hope that maybe later on we can all revisit this series and think, you know what? You know, that was something different in terms of game. And I think, you know, that it was a good it was a good experience for all of us. Oh, and this is now the main menu. I was just checking that there was nothing at the end. But anyway, sirs, unfortunately, this is where I'm going to have to leave this series here on this beautiful title screen. And I really hope you sirs enjoyed this episode and this series of Rhyme. If you did, please don't forget to bestow a like and subscribe to become a sir today. So as always, stay cool, stay classy, and I will see you sirs in the next episode. It's going to be really tough to follow off. It's going to be really tough to follow on from this. This such high quality games, but I've got a few lined up and I think you sirs will really enjoy them.